U.S. leaders have been very upset over alleged foreign influence and meddling of late, and they've discovered a new source of terror. Behold the vast CHICOM conspiracy, the Confucian Institute. A new report issued by the U.S. Congress says that the dance workshops and traditional cooking classes here are no laughing matter. In fact, they're part of a communist plot to get inside of your brain. Through Confucius Institutes, the Chinese government is attempting to change the impression in the United States and around the world that China is an economic and security threat. So let's go over their alleged crimes, shall we? The center's classes apparently describe China as a compassionate and friendly country. The centers are funded by gifts from the Chinese mainland, and apparently there's not total transparency when it comes to the cultural center's operations. So, we decided to stop by the offices of the Confucian Institute, where classes are being held here in Lower Manhattan, and see if the people realize that they're being sucked in by a vast Chinese conspiracy against our American way of life. So do you feel like a foreign agent? A foreign agent? Do you feel threatened by it existing, this China Institute, where they give language classes and such? No. Maybe a little bit. You know, China's a little, you know, that's something I could imagine China doing. Do you feel like it's, it's, it's inculcating propaganda here? I have no idea. I think the entire world's a little hysterical right now. Now, the report also bemoans the fact that the Confucian Institute is linked to Chinese language classes in American schools. That's right. Because of this institute, a lot of young children might actually learn to speak the Mandarin language. And we all know that there's nothing more dangerous to world peace than cultural understanding. This type of activity, teaching languages and culture, is not going to move the needle for China in any way politically in terms of how people see China. The claim from the U.S. Senate report is propaganda, propaganda. Chinese surprise, surprise, have a world view that's different than Americans. FBI director uh, testified to the Senate that these are also acting as intelligence collection uh, agencies. So Chinese intelligence has been embedded all over the United States for decades. There's so many Chinese in the United States working in very critical positions in security and uh, technology areas, t companies military, commercial, everything. The question is, do they need the Confucius Institutes to continue that mission? Probably they don't. My expectation going forward is that the U.S. will continue to put pressure to close these institutes.